rough out tonight. Gonna do uh, a favour for somebody else. Um, I want to talk about an expat community that does stuff without reward or financial reward. Let's just go to the park. No, I missed the space again. Um, I, I was brought up in a military environment. My, my childhood was mainly spent on military camps. Uh, my friends were all military. My mother's friends were all military. All my father's associates at the time were all in serving in the armed forces. So pretty much we were about 99% military orientated in some way. Um, but one of the things that was positive out of that sort of environment, because it may be a bit claustrophobic for some people, is people do stuff for free. You just do. You know, if, if somebody bought a new house and needed some help painting and stuff, you just have a beer night with all the lads go over and do the stuff. You know, you, you're not expecting any money. It's just a bit of a... Lads having a laugh, getting the place spick and span and nice for them. Um, and I find a lot of the time in the 8th Power community and some of the other places I've come across over the years, everybody wants something and often for nothing. Um, I want to move away from that. I want to be more in line with the lifestyle I'm used to, which is you can rely on each other because everybody has the same respect for each other. Everybody wants to help each other. It's not about what's in it for me. It's about what's in it for us, which is helping each other. Um, so it's like now I'm heading off to take some photos of an apartment and stuff for rent, but I'm not going to be on any commission or anything for it. It's because it's a friend, and I know they they could do with the extra revenue, so don't mind doing it. And now, am I going to make any money on it? Absolutely not. But that's not what it's about. It's the same with some of the stuff that's already gone on out here. Um, I would say from the new expats. Um, the ones that I've associated with are all pretty good. They've helped each other out. I know um, some some people have had some new business from websites, from somebody else's clients, and things are sort of cross mapping with each other. And that's that's where you will find that you make money from simply just networking up with each other. Like I said, it's not about reward. If you get something out of it, um, that's fine. But generally, like my, myself, I do a lot of stuff for free. Um, there's been a few people having some serious issues lately. Um, family problems and deaths and relationship breakdowns and sort of these sort of things. And, They'll often call me up and say, Matt, about X, Y, Z, and it's all... <laughs> it, it, you become a therapist some of the time, but you're just actually taking on board what their issues are and offering a bit of advice. It's surprising how often I do that. I don't even know how many people I've helped out over the years with problems they've had, but I think that's part of being a good expat, is being able to help other people, even if you're not that close, because sometimes they want somebody that is not on their doorstep, next door or whatever, um, to sort of air what the issues are. Um, I think that's important. I think that that's, these sort of things make an expat community work well. And I just want to throw this sort of quick sort of uh, message out there to say that Expats aren't always about what you can get out of it for yourself, but what you can also give. Because um, I, I was watching something last night because I was talking to Jay, Jay Stillman, um, Real Deal, and he sent me something over, and I looked at it, and he's just like, you know, somebody's just sitting there arguing about stuff over nothing, you know, because. It wasn't Jay, by the way. Jay just sent it over to say, have a look at it. But it was just the fact that it's, it's, you have these people that spend all their time trying to run things down. 
They don't offer anything positive. They don't want to offer anything positive. It, it, it feels sometimes that they, they crave attention, but have no way of positively doing something. I don't, I don't understand it, because there's always something. <coughs> it's like tonight. I'm going out to take some photos and stuff. I mean, anybody's got a camera. You know, it doesn't take a miracle worker to do it. Yes, I, I do shove stuff on YouTube and stuff, and it, it does work for a bit of advertisement, but there's nothing to stop anybody else doing it. It's the same as I've got um, Manuel. Uh, Miguel. Miguel. I think it's Miguel. Yeah, it's Miguel down in Minglanilia. He wants to do uh, some YouTube stuff himself now. So I'm setting him up this week. He's sorted his AdSense out today. But, like I said, a lot of this stuff's not for profit. A lot of it is the stuff you don't see. Because um, some of the people I know don't earn a lot of money. So it's nice when you know that the stuff you've done has helped them become sustainable or paid a medical bill or done something that really helped them improve their lives in some way. Um, and that's what, that's what being that part to me is about. It's not about taking, it's about giving. Anybody can take. To be honest, a lot, a lot of people that take, 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 I get sick of these days. I've got very little patience for them. Um, <coughs> there's, one, there's one person at the moment I really bite my tongue about because I know what the guy's been up to. Um, with what I can only call begging. Um, and it's, it's, it's not needed. The guy's just found it easier to constantly harass other expats for money than get off his backside and sort his life out. It's been an easy way for him to get some money in his pocket. And as such, as he's found it an easy way to do it, he's sort of expanded on it. And I just, uh, I can't, I can't stand people like that. They're a drain. They're a drain on everything. They're a drain on trust. They're a drain on a community. They're a drain on society. And ultimately, they're a drain on themselves because they sit there wanting the world to spoon feed them. And that's no good for anybody. But anyway, that's enough for me complaining. Um, have a good evening. I'm nearly at my destination once I find out which one I'm going to again. Um, thanks for watching.